When you know what's right for you, you're on your way to being a well-being. Learn how with personalised advice from Blackmores. Hello and welcome to this week's injury update brought to you by Blackmores. We have a couple of injuries to address after a 28 point loss to Adelaide and a 66 point win over VFL side Frankston. Unfortunately, Jared Witts uh, dislocated his finger in the first couple of minutes of the game yesterday at Frankston, so he's had that put back together. He'll, uh, he'll see a surgeon tomorrow just to make sure he's OK. He probably won't be available to play this week, but that should be the extent of it, so he'll be short term. Uh, Alex Fasolo's shoulders coming on very well. Uh, he was keen to play last week, but uh, was just that little bit too sore, wasn't quite able to get there. So he still needs to be tested and do some work, but uh, we think that he should be available for this week. So we'll see how he goes. Braden Sire missed last week with a concussion. Uh, he should be able to train this week and get through and should be available also. Uh, Mason Cox, an interesting story. He didn't, he didn't play the week before uh, we rested him and he was absent from the VFL as well because he was a guest of the of the uh, USA Vice President uh, at the football yesterday and he helped squiring him around and being a US citizen obviously uh, he was keen to do that and we were keen to help him with it so uh, I think he was a bit disappointed in some ways he wasn't able to play but he'll certainly be available for this week. So with six rounds to go in the season it's probably a good time to check in with the players currently listed as long-term injuries. Uh, we've written them off most times and uh, we'll probably continue to do so. Uh, Swanee's actually uh, he's improving, he's weight-bearing, uh, he's got a long way to go with that, so, so he's certainly very much long-term. Uh, we'll keep you informed as to how he goes, but uh, we won't know for some time, but he's, uh, he's certainly up and about, and uh, we're hoping that he comes through pretty well. Tommy Langdon's knee, he's, uh, he's had a tough year with, uh, with ankle, knee, the whole thing. He's had his knee redone. He's certainly still very much medium-term, probably long-term. I don't think we'll be expecting to get much out of him this year, but he, he's going OK, but we just want him to settle down. And Jamie Elliott's back is similar. Uh, he's in pretty good shape now. He's, he's progressing, uh, but he's certainly very much long-term still. And Jackson Ramsey's knee is the same. He's uh, very much long-term. Uh, he's, he's going pretty well, but uh, he won't play this year. Uh, Shaz Matt, Matthew Shambu with his knee. He's coming on. He's a bit in front of uh, Jackson, of course, and he's going along very well. Uh, I don't think we'll put any pressure on him to try and play this year either, so he's very much long-term also. But he is, he is going very well and should have a full pre-season in front of him, one would hope. So thanks for tuning in to this week's Blackmore's Injury Update. We'll see you again this time next week.